hello guys in this video we will learn how we can like use set timeout and clear timeout functionality in javascript so as you can see i have written some code here and you can see that here i have taken two button one is to start time is timeout and second is to clear the timeout so basically let me go through this code okay so i have taken two two variables here one is values and second one is count and count we are starting count with the zero value and here i have, I have created the set timeout and it is being called from here the start timeout button then inside this i have assigned the returned values which uh, we are getting from the set timeout method so inside the set timeout method i have passed one function log function with the 10000 millisecond this is basically the millisecond parameter millisecond value so 10000 millisecond that means after each 10 seconds not each 10 second basically and because if set timeout is being called only for once so after 10 second it will call this log function and inside this log function you can see we have count and i am increasing the count here and i am logging the same value as well as alerting the same value so and this is another function this is clear interval for values so this fun function is being called from here and inside this function what we are doing we are clearing the timeout values so inside it um, I have passed this value so whatever value we are getting from here this set timeout button and we are passing the same value at here so if it is returning 1 as the set timeout id then we are passing the value 1 as clear timeout id ok so let me run this code so I will just right click here and I will open it in the browser so the default browser will be opened so in right here the default browser is in my machine it is microsoft edge so let me also open the console so you can see here in the console so here i am going to click on the start timeout button so once i click the start timeout button then you can see we got the console as well as one and just after 10 second we will also get the alert so you can see after 10 second we got one hello and we got the alert okay so here you okay so let me click on okay okay so here you can see in our code why we got this value because here it is set timeout and inside this set timeout this is I the alert function basically in log function so after 10 second this log got printed and we also got the alert so it, it like did the same as we were expecting so also now let me again start timeout button but this time uh, what I will do I will clear on this like I will click on this ti clear timeout button before completion of 10 second ok ok I think this is just second ok so let me do it again so let me again refresh this page I could not click on that timeout button ok so let me start once again from the beginning ok so here I just clicked on start timeout button and now I am going to click on clear timeout button so I just clicked on clear timeout button so you can see here after clearing the timeout button we did not got like get the alert which we were getting after 10 seconds so let me click on ok so here I clicked on ok and now you can see we did not so basically the main idea behind this the clearing timeout is if we don't want to execute the timeout then we can click on clear timeout button okay so like this 
uh, you can use the set timeout and clear timeout in your project or in anywhere uh, like wherever you are required to use the timeout or any functionality you want to use which should be executed just once after some time span or interval of time so that will be a good idea to use set timeout method so that's all guys in this video so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks